Hey guys, I'm Julia. I'm here at the NAM Show 2020. I'm at the Orange booth with John. Thank you very much. No problem, my pleasure. Um, can you explain a little bit what is new in 2020 or sure. what is your favorite? What do you want to show us? Uh, they're all my favorites because they're all really good. <laughs> uh, the first thing is this guy. It's the little bass thing. We made an amp a few years ago called a four stroke and people loved the way it sounded but it was a bigger heavier you know what we're known for uh, and people were like can you make it smaller but still have that same sound and we're like uh, yeah we can so that's what this is it's got an optical compressor 500 watts class d four band eq effects loop di it's a little bit of a cleaner amp than some of our other stuff is maybe the jazz guys uh guys that play the slaps and pop and stuff like that that need a little more headroom that would be for them okay nice really nice i really like your symbols i think yeah. that's the only brand i know with all those symbols yeah so that was uh, that was actually from the original ones from the you know the late 60s or whatever we call that the picks only oh. no text yeah yeah <laughs> Nice, so everyone is going to understand that. Yeah, exactly. It's universal. universal. No, yeah. yeah, like music. <laughs> exactly. And we tried to use symbols that, you know, actually make sense if you know what music is, you yeah. know. So this was developed in conjunction with somebody that's, that plays in the band Muse. Yeah. And he wanted something to be able to replicate his live rig, but in a much more, you know, compact package where he could plug it straight into a PA or a recording interface or whatever and get his sound out of something so so what it has it's, a, it's two channels the first channel is just the bass like clean channel okay. it's got volume bass and treble and an optical compressor the top channel is foot switchable and it's a gain channel like a guitar amp so it's got gain bass middle treble volume and the, the gain control is actually also hooked up to this jack you can use an expression pedal to actually just blend it in a little bit at a time uh, there's separate outputs, DIs for the for the for the clean and the dirty. Yeah. What, what's this one? That's a that's a phase reversal switch if, okay. if if you get a ground loop or something like that, okay. ground lift switch. And then there's a there's an output also that just combines them into one signal if you want to monitor it for an amp. Okay. It sounds ridiculously good. My name's Morgan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Julia. Hi, Julia. Um, I play Muse and um, uh, the Gorillas. I played The Who and a bunch of bands. And the uh, first band I played with, uh, uh, I had a bass rig built um, yeah. that I kind of put together over years. And uh, it was basically a uh, eight by ten thousand watt Marshall sort of style uh, bass set, bass uh, setup with yeah. a fifty watt Marshall guitar stack on on top. Okay which I used to bring in with a volume pedal. Yeah. So ridiculous setup, really. Uh, very loud and a uh, nightmare to travel with. Basically, yeah. that is that in a box. Really? Yeah. And it sounds exactly the same. I've stopped wow. using uh, my rig uh, in the studio because wow. of that. Wow. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really quite something it's special. It's so small. Yeah. It's, it's um, ridiculous to travel. It is super. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is that good, honestly. I'm, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't okay. be here now. If, uh, and I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of loath to like it because I don't really want anyone else to have it. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, yeah. both of you. We'll come by later and we'll, uh, yeah, if you want to hear it. Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much. No problem. Bye, everyone.